what's up guys i hope all good you're in so here's your favorite friend aditya i'm here again to discuss whether discounts and freebies should be offered along with your product or service so if you're in a business uh, you're offering a product or a service this is a very very important question to i mean this always prevails in your mind and you want answers for it so today i'm here to answer that right now do you believe in offering products and services for free do you i'm asking you hey buddy yes do you believe in offering a product or service free of cost to your customers see there are some cons associated with this and i would like to discuss those if you are uh, the negative sides okay if you are offering a product or service of free it may reduce the value of your product or service uh, this may invite a certain kind of customers who just for the sake of free i mean if, oh this is i'm getting this for free let's get the maximum for free so this invites that kind of people who just believe in you know extract the maximum as long as it's coming for free the negative side number 3 is reduced profits you don't get profits when you're offering things for free and last negative thing associated with this is you are not able to charge the full price whenever you you are offering things for free and uh, next day you decide okay i'll offer things for i want to charge this much it would be very difficult because you have created a kind of buyer th those are only interested in free stuff so it's very difficult to maintain the price so think on these points now there is another school of thought which believes a discount or a freebie is offered uh in particular cases like a business wants to clear stock they want to create opportunities to develop a portfolio for a new product or a service c uh they get new customers by giving them a taste of what they can offer and last they do this because uh, sometimes businesses are not confident in the value of their product or a service so considering these four points it happens sometimes that businesses offer things like freebies and discounts along with the with the product or a service now it's time to put some light on challenges that may or may not involve discounts or freebies when you you're you're into a small business and you want to clear your inventory so you are offering discount and freebies now before doing so you have to decide is this the best way to clear the stock i mean i'm into small business maybe that's not the best way you have to be uh, i mean you should be very much accurate about the demand and you should order as per the demand maybe you can consult your accountant so that you take some measures and next time it doesn't happen that you have excess amount of inventory so if you are into small business i suggest it's not the be best way but okay maybe sometimes you can do that but not necessarily every time number 2 you have just graduated from a b school and you you are taking care of your father's business say your father's retail store and maybe you don't know of any uh, related case study or any specific you don't have any specific knowledge to uh, increase sales in your retail in your father's retail store but that doesn't mean to increase the sales you will straight away start offering freebies and discounts that's not the best way do some more market research gather some information study about your in business get totally involved in it maybe and try for some other measures this is not the best way to straight away 
or start offering freebies and discount and you you're dreaming that the sales will triple in just few months right uh, number three want to get new customers for your business no and for that you want to give them a taste of what you are offering but see for getting new customers there are various 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 techniques and strategies and it's not necessary to straight away start offering freebies and discounts just do some research on how to get new customers for your business you will get thousands of ideas but straight away starting uh, i mean straight away you start giving freebies and discounts and suffer loss i would suggest better hold this for a while and try other techniques which impact you in a lesser way uh, number four you are offering a freebie or discount uh, for a reason that you feel customers uh, would feel that your product or service is rightly priced you mistaken buddy you may be wrong in current scenario a product or service should for sure perform well perform above the competitors performance then only they'll come again to purchase that for the next time just don't think that just because you're offering something free along with your uh, along with a detergent or you're offering some discount along with your detergent so that uh people will buy it again and again that's wrong if your detergent is able to wash clothes properly no matter you offer a discount or not people will come again to buy it take my words okay guys i kept my point in front of you now still if you are thinking to offer freebies and discounts along with your product or service you can but you must consider certain things that are sampling and trials what me i'll repeat sampling and trials now friends never never offer the complete version of your product or service for free right you can uh, what you can do is you can offer a 0.01% thing of your product or service for free as a complimentary and that's good enough for trials make consumers test what you have to offer now you don't understand this thing i know that but i have an example recently i went to a re- retail store uh, sorry an electronic store and there along with a laptop what they were giving for free was hp deskjet basic printer now what's the catch why are they offering a print along with a laptop now the other point is that the printer that they were offering was loaded with a test cartridge which prints only 5 pages <laughs> okay so here's the catch okay now hp is offering a sample printer that will print 5 pages okay now everybody knows that the cost of the cartridge is more than the actual cost of the printer i'm talking about the uh, i i'm talking about the scenario in india see here if if you purchase a printer for 1400 rupees and now you have to purchase cartridges that those will cost you around 16 to 1700 rupees got me so this is a perfect case of offering a sample instead of the entire product or service Uh, if you are in a service industry say for example software you can show them 60% of your software and that too for a limited period free trial for example you have a cms software content management software to offer so you can give one month free trial that has less features as compared to the full version so later on they'll be forced if they are impressed they'll purchase it for sure later on and i would like to say just look at the differences your product and services have made in the past and see the value of your business offering 
do not downgrade the quality of your work and do not rob yourself of the money that your skills deserve got my point thanks for joining in see you next time have a nice day bye bye